I have just had one of them moments where I was like, I really need to be recording right now and showing you exactly what this looks like because otherwise you are going to think that I'm crazy and I'm not crazy. There is a reason for this being done. So welcome to my decorate with me again in the bedroom, which is probably my third decorate the bedroom with me video, but this has been needed for I want to say about three, four months. You may have seen one of my older vlogs, I think it might have even been before lockdown, where we removed the panelling off the wall. Well, I never did paint that. Leaf fitted mirrors above the bedsides, as you'll have seen in previous vlogs, and the walls were pretty rough behind that. And I said, rather than having to paint it and change it, I'll leave it as it is for now. And as soon as I've decided on a colour, I will decorate the bedroom. Well, I've decided on a colour. And I want to show you what the walls look like before I paint them. Because otherwise, you will think I'm crazy. But there is a good enough reason why I'm decorating the walls. They are currently white. They are full of marks. And I just want to give the bedroom a bit of a spruce. I haven't been happy with it since I changed it, to be honest. So I'm going to get stuck in. I'm not going to ramble anymore. This is my decorate the bedroom with me for the fourth time. And I'm going to give it a little lick of paint, talk you through what I'm going to do and show you the wall before we start. And there are marks all over it, as you can see. And then lower down where I keep my boxes, these boxes, you'll see they've marked all of the wall. So this is line and paper on these walls and it's because they need plastering but it's just not something that we've ever gotten around to so i'm just going to give them a lick of paint and hope for the best that it turns out nice now the really bad part is the part that i'm going to show you now and this is where the wood paneling used to be above the bedside tables and as you can see it's marked all of the walls so i'm going to have to sand that down a little bit and all this filler and this side and just hope that it paints smooth so I can put the mirrors back up. Before I do start painting I've got my old clothes on and I've been and had some paint mixed. This is a mix of Pure Beck Stone by Farrow and Ball and it's Valspar the V500 blend. So this is what I'm going to put on this wall and the face on wall.
I am roasting hot as well. A little tip, don't decorate and put your heating on high because I am boiling, but it's done. That wall's painted, this wall is painted. The mix is absolutely lovely. I got it all over my hands and all over my lovely Christmas nails. I don't even know whether you can see them. My camera is playing up terrible. There we go. All over my new Christmas nails. <laughs> but it's done. It looks absolutely lovely and I'm so happy with it. I'm going to get a new mirror for this wall, which is not going to be in today's video, but I'm pretty sure in the next clean and vlog, you will see the new mirror that I get for there because the gold picture just won't go. I hope that you've enjoyed this little quick video of me decorating the bedroom. I'm now going to include a nice little montage of how the bedroom now looks. And I would love it if you would leave me a comment down below and let me know whether you like it and you give it a thumbs up or whether you think I've made a mistake. I absolutely love it and I really hope that you do too. Thank so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. On to the montage. Around midnight Way up high There's an angel In the sky The glitter and the shine She must be divine what a night, what a sight Ring the bells, loud and clear Have the reindeers reappear Take my hand, you promised land Here Upon a star, I've sent my 